I'm Racers Marshall Pruitt. We're going to do another little look into some tech things here. Kind of, sort of tech. We're talking about nuts and bolts, so I don't know if that's really high tech tech at the Indy 500. But knowing that we have had a spec chassis formula since 2012, there's not a lot left for teams to do, manufacturers to do, that is truly individual, had an idea, was allowed to just implement it however I wanted. One of the areas where you can see there's freedom left is fasteners. So, as we've mentioned in one or two other videos so far, hey, this is an aerodrome. Aerodynamics are really what this place is all about. The more aerodynamically pure your Indy 500 car can be, the faster you'll be in a straight line, the better your lap speed should be. Well, bolting things onto the car is an area where IndyCar allows teams to have a little bit of latitude. The most visible place where you can see the choices happens to be on the front of the cars, the front wing array here. And if you think about the, the main plane of the front wing, towards the middle, towards the, the center part where it bolts to the hashtag front nose, uh, we have the front wing extensions. And on the back of those extensions, sometimes we will see gurney flaps mounted as well. If we look here starting off, it is a very traditional countersunk screw and nut, hex nut bolt holding all of those on, which we can see here. That's completely normal, completely traditional. You'll see this when we go to every road and street course. You move on to some alternate ways of doing things, and hey, hello, Aero McLaren. Obviously, this is a team with a lot of Formula One heritage, really, really good budget, and what do they do? They machine their own aero profile nuts that go on top here. And I loved seeing those, realizing that, aha, they really spent time making these to try and create the most aerodynamically friendly mounting system possible. But they don't just simply put them on and leave them however they fall. Notice that they're actually oriented in very specific directions for how the air might hit them and trail behind coming off of them. So again, I just love that they said, okay, this is an area we can play with. We can find an advantage, even something this small. And then finally, the one that stands out to me as possibly the cleanest aerodynamically of all, you'll find that on Team Penske, Dryer and Reinbold, there are a couple of teams that do this. We have captured nut plates. So if you think about the whole premise of this, all right, we have these little fixtures that sit up in the airstream. How can we minimize the turbulence coming off of them? Well, we saw the hex ones to begin. We saw Air McLaren's little machine tapered ones, which surely take a lot of time, effort, and money. And here with the captured nut plate, there's almost nothing there. So I would imagine more teams might migrate towards the captured nut plate version because, again, if you look at the options before it, there's almost nothing there to be seen. Obviously, with the then covered over with, uh, with vinyl with graphics on top of that, it makes it even smoother. So just little detail items make all the difference in the world here at Indianapolis. And walking around as an old race car guy who used to be on that pit lane uh, installing things or taking things off like this, just love seeing the little areas of creativity and innovation IndyCar teams bring every day here at the 500.